Kale chips are a healthful and crunchy snack and they taste amazing when you add our garlic pepper seasoning. This all natural blend of garlic, salt, pepper, and other tasty herbs and spices is so versatile and it adds so much flavor to virtually any dish. For our kale chips, we just need kale, a little of our balsamic and basil dipping oil, and a few pinches of the garlic pepper seasoning. Now I've found that the basic curly leaf kale works the best, and that's usually the least expensive variety in the grocery store as well. Now these kale leaves are all washed and dried. That's important because moisture on the leaves kind of encourages your seasonings to slide right off, and your chips won't crisp up as well in the oven if they're moist. You'll also want to pull or cut the stems out. That's easy to do with a few flicks of the knife. The stems are thick, so they won't dry out in the oven, and they also become tough. So you just want the leafy parts for your chips. And we'll break these into bite-sized pieces. Next, we'll drizzle on a little of the oil. And you don't want to go too crazy here. A little dab will do ya. Start small and add more if you need to. These go on to a cookie sheet, and it's okay to crowd them, but they shouldn't be overlapping. We'll sprinkle on a little of our garlic pepper seasoning, and these go into the oven at 350. The chips bake for about 12 minutes. Turn them over halfway through so they're nice and crispy. Start checking them for doneness a couple of minutes before the end of your bake time. Since the size and thickness of each leaf varies a little bit, some will be ready to come out before others. They cool very quickly, so you can start noshing almost immediately. In fact, kale chips are best served fresh from the oven. I'm serving these with some of our spinach and herb dip mix, and to keep things healthy and low fat, I prepared that dip using Greek yogurt and olive oil mayo. Garlic pepper kale chips are simple, delicious, and fun. Now that's tastefully simple. Mm -hmm.